Panwi must lead the pride deeper into the parched scrub. Kimba, Malu and the other large cubs still trek with the family. With food getting harder to find, they remain an essential part of the team. Their mothers, however, will be watching their every move. The new cubs are now the priority. At what's left of the water holes, thousands of feet and hooves churn the mud into a potential death trap. Adult elephants indulge in the usual skincare routine, but for a baby, it's a new danger. The mud acts like quicksand, sinking the calf to its stomach. It's not strong enough to pull itself free, and the more it wriggles, the more the mud sucks the calf in. The elephants in this area have already lost two calves. But this time, the mother successfully intervenes, tenderly coaxing with a massive foot and easing her calf free. The mud is a real menace. Buffalo have broad, flat hooves to stay on top of it, but invisible holes riddle the pool. Once you slip in, the mud draws you down further. For two days, this helpless cow bakes under the glaring sun. Nighttime brings little relief. Jackals become constant companions. They're waiting for the surface mud to harden and create a pathway to the feast. On the third morning, the buffalo faces an even worse fate. The Makololo pride turns up. As usual, it's Laduma who takes the responsibility. To get a good hold on the animal, Laduma will need to reach it without getting stuck herself. If she can, her pride will eat well. Mud makes lions nervous, so she cautiously edges over the sun-baked crust. Even though she could simply start feeding at the soft rum, Laduma seems to want to show the cubs a textbook kill. She can't reach the windpipe. Instead, she holds the buffalo snout, long enough to bring a quick end. It's a mystery why Laduma chose to go for a traditional kill this time. But she set a new example to her cubs and shown them that they need to take every situation on its merits and think on their feet. This buffalo could have appeared more threatening than we think. If it had struggled, it could have dragged one of the lions into the mud. Maybe by killing it first, Laduma made sure they could eat in safety.
The juvenile lions have bought some extra time by feeding on animals already weak from the hardships of the dry season. But for Kimber and Marlou, these lazy days hanging out with their mother and relying on her to provide their food are numbered. Nearly fully grown, the boy cubs have huge appetites and growing aspirations. November brings long-awaited relief from the heat. Five millimetres of rain falls every day for weeks on end. Gradually, the rains rejuvenate the scorched landscape 